All right, so this is the pool. Right now I've got the pool pump off and I'm gonna show you what my next project is going to be because I need to keep my pool super blue and beautiful, right? So let's just go in here and let's check out our pool pump. So anyway, this is I think an HSQ uh, 165 Century. That's it right there. And um, I'm gonna show you why I need to fix it. I'm gonna open this up. And we're just gonna turn it on for a second. All right, so you can see that I got a problem, don't I? So I'm gonna get my new motor, which is gonna cost me about 350 bucks on Monday. And I'm gonna take that one off, change all the seals and put a new motor in. That's my next project. As you can see, this pump is on its last leg. First step, come over here to your breaker, turn it off. So the first step is to turn it off at the breaker. There's no electricity going to there now. So this is um, a Century, uh, I believe it's HSQ165. And yeah, there's the there's the, uh, the model. But I've got an ASQ165, which should work with this. And it has a two year warranty. We'll have to take the ground off here, take the electrical off, undo this, pull the whole thing out, take it inside, and then we'll uh, switch it out for the other motor. Put all the seals in it. But we have to let this cool off because it's hot as a pistol. Once you've hit the breaker and made sure there's no electricity going to this thing, the first thing we got to do is we got to take this back case off. Okay? And to do that, we're going to use this quarter inch. And we're just going to go lefty loosey like this. And this should just pull out. Okay, so we've got one. This one here, I can't get a full rotation on it because of the concrete. But... should be off. Good. Now this should just come off, but you never know. So I'm just going to try to get her in, in here and pop it. There we go. So it takes some elbow grease to get it off, right? But it will come off. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the screwdriver in there, I'm kind of turning it, and you know, it's hot, so bam, I'm done. Alright, so here is our electrical over here we've got to unhook and you notice i've got these <laughs> for my knees all right so now you can see these and i'm just going to go in here and I'll go lefty loosey just like that just to loosen it now this one here i can loosen too because it's got a flathead thing on it and i don't really have to worry about this now because i'm throwing this motor out so i can go ahead and go as loose as i want with these i might even keep them you know what I mean? Take them all the way out. Because they're good screws, why waste them? Okay, so I got those two screws here. We'll keep those. And I just got to get this one off of here. So the green wire is the ground. The black and red wires are hot. Okay, so this is the armature here. This thing turns. So now we got all those off of there. We can just pull them out like that. I might even cut these things. I don't know. We'll see. I want to get them as straight as I can because I got to pull them through, right? There we go. Get them nice and straight. That might be able to pull through like that, but we better, we'll just get it straight. Now, hopefully, I can just pull all these through here. And then we're going to save this piece because we're going to need it. So this has to come out. But before I do that, I got to get these, I got to get this electrical out of here. So I'm going to just try to pull it through best I can. This is always a pain in the butt. Kind of like pulling it this way. There's a red. When I do this though, it kind of screws up these wires. I wonder if I can just pull the red through and then the others will come through easier. Let's see if we can do that. There we go, there's one. Let's see if we can do this with the black. Okay, we got him. Okay, so we got the electrical off. <laughs> now we want to take this off. You know what I mean? So I've got to go counterclockwise to get it off. All right, there we go. Bam, done. All right, so, so far so good. I think we're doing great. <laughs> we got this off, burned my hand because I touched the motor. Oh, and then we got to get the ground off up here. All right, so I got to take this ground off. So let's do that. 
Now this should just come out and I'm done. So I could undo these bolts, but I'm gonna leave these on for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unscrew this and pull the whole thing off. And uh, I'm just gonna go to the, I'm going counterclockwise. I'm just turning it this way, counterclockwise. You see? I'm just gonna keep going like that until it gets super loose. And I can pop that uh, collar, which goes all the way around this circular housing off. You can hear the water already. And a lot of water may come out of this. So we'll see. You follow me? When I, when I re-hook it up, I may even put this a little bit lower. This is kind of in peak right here. Yeah, there we go. Now you don't want to lose any of the parts, right? So hang on to that. You can see that this, this went through there. So we're just going to pop this on, just like that. I think I'm going to pop it off. Okay, there it is. So there's your collar, okay? And uh, so we don't lose anything. I'm just going to do this right now so that we have this all together in one spot. You can see it's got a little grease in there. So notice I'm going to tighten it, I go clockwise. So we'll just set that there. Okay, so now all I have to do is just pull the motor off. I'm gonna use my gloves because it's super hot, but we should get some water coming out of there. That's it. Okay, I'm done. All right, so that's off. Now I've gotta take this on the inside and we gotta get take all this off. Okay, so that's our next thing. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it dry out a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just gonna grab this, take it to the, take it on the inside. It's super hot, so I don't wanna burn my hands. Grab it just like that. We're gonna take it in. All right, here we go. Damn. All right, that's that. Again, this is super hot. Here it is. Next thing we gotta do, gotta unscrew all these. I'm gonna try this flathead and see how I do. We gotta go backwards. You don't wanna lose these, so you wanna save them, right? That was not good. <laughs> I chewed that thing up. I don't know why they use these flatheads. Maybe because they want you to use a screwdriver. Maybe that's what I should do. Just use a screwdriver because that might be better. And I can see how I kind of chewed that a little bit. I don't wanna do that. So you wanna make sure you save all these. All right, so I'm putting them all over here, you see? So I know exactly where they're at. This isn't the dual hand. Okay, so we've got five of those screws. We wanna keep them. And then this comes right off. I don't know, man, it looks bad. Anyway, this is called the diffuser. The part number is C1200PA. You have to have a new, um, little rubber thing that goes around it. And this one's pretty messed up. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a new one. This is the impeller. And to get that off, we've gotta lock out this um, this armature in the back. And the last time I did it, I used uh, needle nose pliers. So we're gonna to try to do that now. All right, so this is the back of it. And you can see it says 716 wrench, but I don't have one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to get my needle nose pliers in there and grab that armature. That way we can lock it down and we can get that impeller off by twisting it. All right, so I'm just gonna get in there and try to get on those. You see how there's like those flat areas there? If I can grab it like that and just hold it, you know, just hold it like that, then we should be able to go ahead and twist that, that impeller off the front. But you gotta lock that down so it doesn't spin. I've immobilized the shaft with the needle nose, and now I'm going to unscrew the impeller. Uh, there we go. Got it. Got it. All right. There we go. No, I'm gonna get a new one of those too. I think this impeller is not looking good either. I think I need a new impeller, and I need a new what you call it there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do some work on this thing. For sure, I think this is okay. All right, and then this thing here I can just pull off, just like that. See, that thing's hot too. And then I've got to unbolt the back of this and we'll be ready to go. But I've got a new one of these that we'll put on. Um, and, uh, and then I've got a new one of these that we'll put on. I don't know if I'm gonna need a new housing. I 
could use a new housing. This one looks like it's okay. You know what I mean, Jelly Beans? So the impeller is a C15137P, okay? And you can see it's pretty, it's pretty worked. So I think I want to get a new one of those and I'm gonna get a new uh, diffuser here because look at that, that's a mess. I mean, if I'm gonna rebuild this, I might as well rebuild it right since I got a brand new motor, right? Let's not go half-assed, <laughs> all right? So that's what we're gonna do. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta unhook these bolts. These go through this stand into the housing itself. And once we've undone these, we can just pop the, the motor off of this housing. So we're gonna use a ratchet and we wanna go Lefty loosey because we gotta, you know, gotta get them off of there. Ugh. Once we loosen them, they're, you know, they come right off. This motor is still hot, so, which sucks. And I got one more on the, on that back area over here. See, this is still not completely loose, but we'll get her there. Huh, <laughs> so I need some more. And I gotta get down over here. Should be loose. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Now we can just go ahead and get these off of here. So what I'm doing is I'm just loosening these with my fingies, and then the, the motor will just come off of the housing. You see how the housing's moving away? Don't want to lose any of these pieces. So that those are loose. Notice that these are long. Set them right there, and these are shorter. So the tops are shorter. The reason the bottom's longer is because it's got to go in this, through this whole, this uh, area right here. All right, that's it. Yeah, I'm done. So now we got now we got it all apart. I'm gonna replace that. That's brand new, but I'm still gonna replace it. So we'll set that there. That does not look good, does it? <laughs> that is a total mess. So this one we can just basically throw away. Look at that. That thing was squealing. So we'll just throw that in the garbage. If you take a closer look at this, you can see what happened. Water got in and it corroded all of this area. Notice there's like this one little, <laughs> here, let me pull it off so you can see this. You can, you can see how bad it is. I mean, that's what the reason we had to replace this thing. It's junk, as you can see. It's super heavy. Yeah. All right, that one's gone. So now we're committed. Because <laughs> I ain't pulling that out of the garbage. <laughs>